That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Live from the USA, helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy, BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. I'm pretty excited today, guys. The market is in complete turmoil. Your boy put out another boss mode prediction yesterday, and you can see uh, that it came true. So one of the things I wanted to do is just take a step back uh, for a minute and let you guys know uh, that even though this market is a little bit crazy, you know, it ain't that hard to know where you're going if you know where to look. And so that's what this market is. Uh, that's what this episode is. It's BTC because a lot of people don't know. And if they tell you that they do, you know, chances are they, they just they just telling stories, right? So one of the things uh, real quick before uh, we get into all of that, uh, if this is your first time tuning in, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. I am the boss of these charts. So do me a favor, do it, do it, uh, do it real big, pay it forward for me and subscribe now. I give away free Bitcoin every day I do a video. And so you want to make sure you turn your notifications on. I'm on uh, all the time six, seven days a week. And so today, uh, one of the things all you got to do is win is come on a little bit early uh, and I ask a question of the day. And, and today's question was given that BTC is going crazy right now. Don't know if it want to go up. Don't know if it want to go down. What is the number one crypto on the market? So that was a question I asked everybody that came out early. And uh, right now, we go go and find our winner. Let's see. Let's see. Who do you guys think? Who do you guys think? Who do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Let's just pick somebody right. Let's go with my man, Eric, who said Ripple. And I tried to tell you guys, I agree, Eric. Ripple is a sleeping giant right now. Um, so this is what we do, Eric. I, I post uh, your picture in our Facebook group. So all you got to do is go on to our Facebook page, you know, say, hey, that's me. I won today. And uh, I will connect with you, get your Bitcoin wallet, you know, and send you over a few bucks in Bitcoin. I do appreciate your support every day. I'm living in these charts every day. I'm on this microphone trying to get my people paid. So if you appreciate that, then you go love what I got for you. Let's go. Uh, first things first, Bitcoin again is, is treading water. We don't know which way is up. You know, one minute it's 2,600, the next minute, it's 3,000, the next minute, you know, it's bouncing around 21, might get to 18. But one thing's for sure, we are still very much underwater. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, this is the chart that we put together yesterday. And so one of the things I like to do is, is start, you know, try to pick up where we left off at, right? This is what I said. I made this little box in my video yesterday. Uh, Bitcoin was still right around $2,800, uh, $2,900. And I said, do not buy it right now because the banks are cashing out. And if you buy it, you will be buying the garbage that they don't want. And you can see that's exactly what's been happening. Uh, for the last 18 hours or so. So what I'm doing right now is I'm jumping down into a 21 minute chart. And what, what this one allows us to do is actually see inside the numbers to where, where we think we'll be able to go next. So right now, this was the area, the moment in time, I'm pretty sure like I was on the air when this happened, when this thing peaked out. And I had the, the box right on top of it. But uh, one of the things we want to do, I'm going to pull up another clean chart so we can just start fresh real quick. Here we go. All right. So this, again, this is a tradingview.com. 
I have a link in the description. Uh, if you want to learn how to how this setup works, uh, the moving averages are a seven, a twenty-one, and a seventy-seven. And um, I have a video set up called "How to Chart Like a Boss." And in that video, I go through the process of of you being able to get your chart to look exactly like mine. Um, so right now, I'm pulling up a clean chart. Uh, so we have a fresh start with this thing because one of the things I wanted to do is uh, in the midst of all this chaos and all this turmoil, right? And I'm going to show you how to do it right now is how you can start clean and make some sense uh, in a convoluted and complex market. Uh, so real quick, we just go to indicators, moving average, and we get three of them. Sometimes I like to go through the process of doing this um, for the new listeners. Uh, we are one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube, so I don't mind, you know, every now and then taking taking a few minutes uh, and showing the new the newcomers, you know, how it's done, so you guys don't have to go back every time. So you can see, I'm, I just have three moving averages: a seven, which is our green; a twenty-one, which is our red; and a seventy-seven which is gonna be orange, that's it. And from these three moving averages, I can make a lot of money. So we see right now, even on the daily chart, right? If we look at the daily chart, then we can see that Bitcoin broke out right there. Uh, this was back in April, this is when we got our buy signal. And so what I like to do is just throw a little marker up. And back in the day, when I first started making videos, I would let you guys know that when that green line crossed that orange line, that's when magic happened. That's when it was time to make some money uh, because that's basically a lot of energy coming together at one point and you can compare it to when lightning strikes. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. But when it strikes, everybody around hears it and everybody understands it, right? So that's our lightning strike right there. But then what happened up here? We broke down for a second. And this was uh, just recently on the daily chart. This is two days ago. No, about seven days ago. Last week, we officially went underwater to where if you did have Bitcoin, this is where the chart would have showed you on a long-term chart, you should get out. Now, technically, you should have got out somewhere in here um, because I operate on a lot shorter chart, but this is, a, this is a slower, this is a daily chart. This is, honestly, this is the chart a lot of other traders are using that don't live in the charts. I live in the charts. I spend three, four hours a day you know, making charts and understanding how everything comes together. So, you know, if you follow somebody else, you would have got out right here, maybe, if you're lucky, um, at $2,200. You can see that wouldn't have been good. Whereas, you know, back back in the day, I told you guys to get out probably somewhere right around there. Um, but you can see right now we're underwater. And so technically on a long-term trend, you should not be in Bitcoin right now. Even given that last spike, you should not be in it because that green line is still under the orange on a daily. So only unless you're looking to short, which is buy it, knowing you're gonna sell it just to make you know five, 10% on the swings, you shouldn't buy it right now because it's underwater, it's going to get pulled lower. Um, that I think if you guys, you know, if you, got, you guys have seen uh, my Ethereum uh, video when I said, don't believe the hype, Ethereum is going down like, you know, like an anchor. Uh, because that's what it had. That's what had happened. It had the exact same setup. The green was below the orange, uh, and it was even you know the, the red was below the orange too. At least here you're straddling, and the red can actually save us right now. Uh, but once that red flattens out, which it probably will, if our candle breaks that orange again, then we're we're going all the way down. So let's jump to uh, a slower chart, right? So we know on a daily we already should not be in it. Um, 
But what I wanted to do real quick is, is get you guys onto a 21-minute uh, chart. This is normally what I look at during the day. Um, this helps a lot when trying to understand how these charts come together. And to be honest, all you need to do is go back, you know, one or two weeks on a 21 minute chart and you can see all the information you need to see in order to make some money. So the first thing I notice when I look at this thing, I take two primary spots in the consideration. And I'll tell you why in a minute. I take that spot. And I take that spot. Now, why do I do that? I do that because I want to know the long range uptrend. And so even though this is a 21 minute chart, which is quick, it's very, it's a lot of quick, quick data, right? Um, this trend line I'm drawing still stretches almost a month about three weeks. And that's the highest point uh, Bitcoin was able to get to before it broke down. That's the lowest point Bitcoin got to before it went up. So when I draw my trend line across it, I'm gonna capture more information than anybody else. That's where you start. And if you notice, on my breakdown, all three of them came together again at one point. That's not an accident. Lightning never strikes one spot by accident. It takes a lot of concentrated energy to get lightning to strike a place. A lot of things have to happen right in order for lightning to strike. It literally comes down from the sky and the energy <laughs> goes up from the ground into the sky. It doesn't come from the sky down. It actually goes from the ground up. Um, so that's our long-term trend line. And look at that. Look at that. Remember what I used to say, where floors become ceilings and ceilings become floors. So just in one trend line, you guys, on a 21 minute chart, I showed you exactly where Bitcoin was gonna break down. That red line is not allowed to get above that line and it knows it. Green line tested it, but it got too far from the orange line. Little brother wanted to go outside. He said, guys, I wanna go up to 3000, right? And he tried, he got so close, he got so close. He got to 2957 and he couldn't do it. And now, and now, both brothers are back in the house because dad came up to see what was going on and they said, okay, we got to go to bed right now. So now literally you got two brothers in the house. Dad is tired because that's a long way. Little brother and big brother, you know, came out. And so now uh, they're back inside. And so what's going to happen? It's, it's one of two things that's gonna happen. It's, it's either gonna go up or it's gonna go down. But you can see guys, in one trend line, you can understand a lot in the market, right? So if we would have drawn that trend line from before, you know, I probably could have saved a lot of money after Bitcoin broke out because I knew where it was gonna fall at. Could have known where it was gonna fall at. And so in that line, we could see that. If we throw it up here, you know, we'd probably get the bottom somewhere. Let's see where that comes in at. That's a tricky one. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Right about there. So what we did here was we just copy and pasted our trend line to go to the red intersection. Because remember, the red is the momentum. The red is the big brother. The red more or less controls the green and tells it where it's allowed to go. And the dad listens to the red. The orange line responds to the red a lot faster 
uh, than it does to the green. And so when we throw it right here on the red intersection, watch what happens. That same trend line, copy and paste it. We get support. Copy and paste it. We get another breakthrough. Last time, copy and paste it. And now it looks like this may in turn be a line we need to cross in order to break out. So what I'm saying is that red, my line was a little bit off. Yeah. There it goes right there. So this was the intersection, the breakdown intersection. So when we do red down below orange and take that all the way, you see it tested it, went back down. And now it gave us the exact spot where the red went down against the orange again. This is why I say uh, the future can be predicted from the past. You just have to understand exactly how the energy is flowing, how the lines are talking to each other, and what the lines will in turn allow the others to do. Um, because everything, everything is interconnected. This, this big break right here, even though I really didn't like it, I thought it was a lot of financial manipulation that happened that caused you know uh, a lot of people to lose a lot of money and now people are even more uncertain than they were before it was all in the end it was good for the market because it actually allowed us psychologically to dis disassociate ourselves from it to be able to profit in the future you have and that's one of the things i wanted to say too when these markets are crazy you have to stop thinking about your money you have to mentally detach yourself from your money. That's the only way you'll be possible, profitable. You can't spend every day thinking about, oh my God, what's my percent today? I need to cash out, it's too much, or I need to cash out, I've lost too much, it's too low. You know, because you lose either either way. You make too much money, you cash out, you leave early, and you never see three thousand. You would have been out at twenty two hundred and never never even got the three thousand, right? So emotionally, guys, you have to be able to uh, detach your mind from your money, and that's very 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 hard. And that's why I try to make it very simple, very mathematical, very colorful. You know, so you can tell stories, and the stories will tell you what to do with your money. When little brother goes too far away from home, let's look at this. Look at this. And this is this is honestly, this is the only reason I made that damn video yesterday. Cause little brother, you know, was way too far from home in one day. In one day. That's where he went. So when you understand that, it's like these lines tell each other to go. So if you sold, you know, when I told you to sell, right there, 7 p.m. yesterday, 7.48 yesterday, guess what you saved? You just saved yourself 10%, right? And so that's when I say you have to stop thinking about the money because it's not money. It's, it's a return. It's a trade. It's a swing. It's an outcome. It's a mathematical outcome. So when you understand the inputs, you can understand the outputs, and then your emotions don't matter. It's, it's really hard to do, it's really hard. But, but you, you think about it, when you go into a big time casino, any casino, that's why they have those little beautiful colorful chips, right? That's why the cocktail waitress is always bringing you more drinks and she looks really good. And then you tip her, you know, two, three, four dollars in chips because you're not actually thinking about the money. So in turn, you spend more money and because of that, the casino makes more money. Um, but this is kind of the same thing, when you stop thinking about the money, you're not emotionally connected to it, and then you won't fall in the same cycle that the market falls into that I predicted yesterday. Once that market hit uh, 48.4 percent, I said, this is when the banks pull out. You know, the banks pulled out, and we dropped 10 percent in 10 hours. And as a result, I think we're going to consolidate a little bit more. Uh, real quick, let's see where that should be. This is how you do it. 
you go from one intersection above the green, or I'm sorry, one intersection, let's do this guy to that guy. One, two, right, yeah, here we go. That intersection right there to that intersection right there. What I did was one intersection before the breakout, green over red, one intersection before the great breakout, green over red. That gives you your best prediction line for uh, understanding where you'll fall. And then you look like you line it up to the last possible breakdown below the orange. Look at that. That's pretty much where we are right now. Sometimes it goes right below it, yeah. So this is all I did. Intersection before the orange. Intersection before the orange. That gave us our trend line. Move that up to the lowest intersection possible before you break down. Bam. That's where we're at right now. So that's where that green is going to settle down. In. And that's where that green and that red are going to come back together. And more than likely, the orange will come back down wherever we looped right here at. This is a 21 minute. So the orange will have to come down a little bit to meet them. So the orange will probably come down to the bottom of that green right there. And the orange will come down right there. So this is all going to happen somewhere in here. And then they'll decide, you know, what they want to do. Um, but to be honest, once the orange, and this is how you tell, if the orange has already started coming down, then more than likely these guys are in for the night. They had too much fun, and uh, it's time to go to bed. But you can see that the orange is still undecided. But in order for that time to pass, right, and these cryptos to like all come back together, that orange is gonna have to come back down. And so that negative energy from that orange is gonna be given back uh, to the red and green, and we'll see a consolidation probably around 25, 2400, somewhere in there, 2480, I think. Uh, sounds like a good number. Let's see, 24. Yeah, right around that, right around this area of consolidation right here. 2480, 2550 is what we'll be looking at to try and regroup. So if this thing breaks all the way down, one of the questions I'm in, looking in the chat right now, one of the questions I got is, uh, what is the bottom if it breaks all the way down? That's a very, very good question. In order to best give you an idea, and you can, you can see now why I don't use the daily chart, because all that information I just gave you, you, you would never, ever be able to you know, get it from just two or three candles. So I'm living inside of 21 minutes to where, you know, I can understand a lot of relationships that most, most people never, ever, ever see. Um, but when I, when I need to do like, you know, long-term predictions, what you just asked me, what's the bottom of the market? I like to jump out to a little bit longer chart, uh, 343. Most people, for most people, most traders, uh, this would be their four hour chart. For me, it's a 343 because I understand fractals and I understand how to compress data and understand how to manipulate numbers. Uh, so 343 works best to do all three of those. Um, but where is the bottom? All right. So we can see that this run basically started back, we'll say, you know, Christmas Day. Like we got an early Christmas gift and it was the biggest Bitcoin run in history, right? So we can start, you know, maybe a week before Christmas and say that's where we started. What do we want to do? We want to identify our lowest possible intersection after we broke out, because that shows the critical mass of consolidation before we can take off again. 
So we'll have that be the first area we identify. And we want to tie that to the next lowest possible intersection before we broke out. And this will be the best absolute bottom anybody reading these charts will ever give you. Oh, look at that, that trend line that we drew, just to, you know, from that spot to that spot, went all the way back to uh, March 13th, March 17th, and still held. That was the spot the market broke down and we lost about 30% in a couple weeks. So when you have, bottom line, when you have a good trend line and you understand the market, you can, you can see a lot of things coming. Again, I always say it's not hard to get where you're going if you know where to look. That's all I try to help you guys do is understand where you need to look. So this is a rough, rough, rough estimate. Um, you know, you guys can take the time and uh, I've drawn charts. Some charts take me, you know, three, four hours to go through. Um, this one I'm just doing in a couple minutes live on the air. But what you do is you zoom in as close as you can, um, get that intersection right there, go across time, get that intersection right there. And this is gonna give us our bottom market consolidation run line. And look at that, it even holds back there. Uh, this goes back to 2016. So if you guys can see that, um hey real quick I'm, uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on we got i'm looking i'm looking at this chart right now i just realized this is probably one of the best charts y'all done seen drawn live on the air right so do me a favor if you enjoy this type of content just hit that like button hulk smash that like button for me what that does it's a, it allows our community when they get back on youtube we got thousands of people all over the world right all different time zones but whenever they come to youtube it pushes this video to the top it says this is solid content this guy is actually showing you how to draw uh charts and trend lines like nobody else and so you know that's very empowering information right i'm basically giving you free money uh through this through this type of education and through this type of empowerment so if that uh is something that you appreciate all I ask is uh, you hit that like button one time. Back to where we were at. And look at that. That trend line we just drew in about 30 seconds gives you the lightning that struck back 2016. Right? And so that's how we know it's a good trend line. And that's how we know it will be good moving into the future. Right, we test it against the past, we learn from the present, and from that we can predict the future. So the absolute bottom of Bitcoin, this point in time, is whatever that yellow line is. That's the bottom of the market. Put it this way, that's the bottom for consolidation. That's the lowest point uh, the red and the green line will ever intersect that, which isn't bad. Um, so right now, it would be, what is this, $1,200. Some people, I've, before before I made this line right here, I was saying $1,450. Um, so if the lines intersect at 12, that means they could drop down, you know, one of the low, low candles could be around 800 you know, 850 somewhere. But when those red and green lines intersect, the lowest possible point they could ever intersect right now is 1250. Uh, but what I wanted to do real quick was uh, measure this angle because I've actually never done this before. So this is kind of cool for me. Thank you for that question too, by the way. I am in the chat. I am doing this live. Uh, so if you live on the air with us right now, you know, get in that chat, ask me a question. If I see it, I'll try to respond to it real quick. Uh, if this is your first time, tuning in congratulations baby you are now rocking with the best as you can see i am the boss of these charts this is what i do you know i understand numbers i understand relationships i understand energy 
uh, and somehow it was able to come together in a way uh, for me to bestow into the universe um, and communicate the vision of, of synchronicity and everything. It's pretty, pretty amazing. So let me find this trend angle. So we can see then this is 2% per what? That's 2% per what? Okay, let's go out to the 24. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, hold on, let me figure this out. I wanna find the annual rate of return on that line. So I guess I could just mark this at one year, put it on the line, copy and paste it, move it back a year, move it on the line. And this will basically give you the guaranteed return of Bitcoin. Nobody else even knows that's possible. I just showed you how to do it. Watch this. Down there. Right there, bam. I read somewhere a long time ago that the CAGR, for those of you that don't know, you know, uh, mathematics, economics, uh, forecasting, CAGR is compound annual growth rate. I read somewhere a long time ago that the CAGR of Bitcoin was about 20 to 40%. And now I think I agree with them that 20 is the guaranteed interest rate, compound annual interest rate, growth rate for Bitcoin. That's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. That's how you start to make sense. And that's how you make money out of a WTF market. Because we say, regardless of all the nonsense, we know that the, that the bottom is 21, right? That's pretty cool. You know, that's, that's pretty amazing. I've never done that before. Never done that before. Thank you for that question. So um, I think that's good with Bitcoin. You know, 21%, the bottom, absolute bottom, uh, that, that those two uh, lines could intersect that. What did we say it was 1250, something like that? Let me move this back before I mess it up. It's whatever that line is. Absolute bottom today is 12. Uh, 12.25 and it goes up 21% a year. That's cool. That's cool. Really, really, really cool. Good deal, you guys. All right, so we gave away some money. We done uh, helped you guys understand the market. You know, even, even if it goes back down to 1,800, guess what? You know a way to figure out where it's gonna go next. A lot of people, you know, will never have that kind of insight or that kind of information. Hopefully when you listen to this video yesterday and your boy BK said, sell at the top, don't be the last fool, you know, paying $900, $2,900 for Bitcoin right now, sell at the top, cash in down here, you know, around 21. Um, hopefully you did that. And then you'll, you'll, you know, profit 20 to 30% as a result. Um, again, this knowledge is free for the world. Uh, I spent the better part of 20 years to get the understanding in financial markets and statistics and calculus and mathematics and geometry and trigonometry and harmonics, you know, uh, Fibonacci, better part of two decades, a little bit more even, to, to be able to convey this information to you guys. Um, so if you do enjoy it, and you think someone else can benefit from it. All I ask is that you uh, share it. Just copy and paste the URL, you know, download the video to your computer so you can always have it. Um, 
repost it on Reddit, Steam it, Twitter, uh, Facebook, whatever Bitcoin cryptocurrency uh, Facebook group you're in, repost it there. This information should be free. The more we understand the market, the more we can profit from it. Because just like I showed you yesterday, we will never have enough fiat currency to beat the banks, right? So we have to be smarter than them. We have to out-trade them. And, and they don't believe in the kind of stuff that I'm showing you guys. They believe in the Forex and the MACD and the Bollinger Bands and the, and the indicators. And, you know, I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about a universal consciousness of individual, uh, irrational, uh, self-interested, free-thinking members. That's what these charts show. And that is how we win. Together, we can do it. With that being said, I invite everybody on this page uh, to the number one Bitcoin group in the world. That's right, you heard it here first, baby. Number one Bitcoin group in the world. That's the name on Facebook, and we are 4,000 members strong. This thing gets bigger and bigger every day. You can see right now, 99 people wanna join this group. You know, and all I do every day, every time I get on, you know, I get on here, I look through a couple of them, you know, just to see, you know, because I asked, I asked two or three questions, right? So how much was the price of Bitcoin on the day you entered the market? This guy got in at a thousand. You know, one person I saw uh, got in at like six dollars. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, so everybody is invited, you know, to this community. This is a global community. We are on these charts 24 hours a day. My man Steven is always posting, you know, an update to let people understand the psychology of the market and how they can be profitable on individual positions. It doesn't matter if your money's on the sideline. It doesn't matter if it's in another altcoin somewhere. We have people here that can help you, can empower you, and give you a little bit of insight into the community. And that is how you chart like a boss. I appreciate that. My man, Joseph, he must be new to the group. 18 minutes in. I appreciate that. That's pretty cool. You know, and a uh, couple other things, a couple other things real quick. We have a uh, one on one uh, meetings available. Um, this is a new thing I just put together uh, for the one on one meetings. The link is in the description. It says one on one meeting with BK. Um, let's see here. And that will take you to an Eventbrite page that looks like this, one-on-one -on -one meeting with BK, right? $25 just to set it up. You get my personal calendar. You pick whatever time works best for you. Uh, and then, um, you know, we do it video, Skype, Facebook, Google Hangout, whatever works best for you. So Tuesday, you know, if you wanted to do Tuesday afternoon at 1 p.m., I would send you an email to look something like this. You click it, bam, there you go. Tuesday at 1 p.m., whatever time you think works best. I try to make myself accessible uh, to where it's convenient. The last thing, this, this has been uh, requested many, many, many times. Um, and honestly, I took, a, I, I intentionally took a long time to bring it back um, because I wanted to make sure I understood this market. And as you can see, uh, based off that prediction last night and based off those trend lines I just showed you in a matter of 10 minutes, I understand this market pretty well right now. So with that being said, I am reintroducing my top picks. Uh, this was a major, 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 uh, a major ticket item. Um, last time I did it, last time I brought it around, I think some of the picks, you know, went up 40 to 60 percent uh, in just a few days after after I put the list out. So I I literally live on these charts, guys. I'm I'm on I'm on TradingView and and Poloniex and and uh, Coinigy and you know all anything you could think of that's Bitcoin related, Coinbase. I'm on it. Uh, every day, all day, every day. Um, and so I got, I got, I got some bangers. I got a top 10 list of bangers. I've made money with a lot of them. I'm invested in a lot of them right now. Uh, and the only reason I'm not invested in some of them uh, is because I am waiting until the market actually fully responds. 
you know, but one thing I wanted to do is to empower people early. You know, I realized some people might, might be seeing this for the first time two weeks from now. And so, you know, I picked, a, I picked a wide list to where you can hedge your bets, you can be profitable, and you can get uh, the, the most exposure in this market for maximum growth. And it's, it's, it's some bangers. I, was, I looked at that list after I was done. I was like, wow. I got mad at myself that I didn't have everything on the list, actually. I'm like, what are you thinking? Like you can tell these people to go buy, but you don't even you don't you don't have it right now. So so please believe after I'm done with this video, I'm going back to Poloniex and I'm I'm updating my uh, my holdings because I put a lot of time. I put about you know almost a month uh, into understanding this market where we are today. Uh, before the last time you had the opportunity to buy my top ten list, it was a major 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 uh, ticket item last time. It's only fifteen dollars. You buy it. I have an email that goes directly to you with the PDF inside of it. Again, a lot of this stuff, you know, really just pays for the time and the energy it takes to put this video up. I'm not doing this to make a profit whatsoever. I, I make more than enough money on the markets. I have, you know, an MBA uh, from top to one of the top universities in the world. Any company out there on Fortune 100 will pay me $100,000 from now until the day I die just to show up and, and sit in a cubicle for 40 hours a week. So I'm not stressed about money. Um, I do this to try to help people. I do this to try to empower people and I do this to try to pay it forward. Um, I want these words to live on long after I'm gone uh, from this earth. And, and hopefully by then, you know, we as a people would be in a lot better situation than we are today. That is my biggest cause, my biggest belief, my biggest motivation for doing any of this stuff. With that being said, I wanted to give my people in the chat, you know, I wanted to show y'all some love real quick. So if you in the chat right now, it looked like we got about 300, 400 people live on the air. If you go jump in that chat right now, do me a favor and uh, count, uh, shout out your country. And so what I like to do is I like to end on, on a good note. Even if the market is down a little bit, at least you know right now how it's going to turn around. And that's when them lines come together and they decide to move in synchrony and move in harmony. And you are on the same team with destiny. That's how it works, baby. And so what I like to do at the end of every single video is show my people some love. I give away some money for free at the beginning and I show my people some love at the end. And that's how it goes down. So let's see. Let's see. We got our global check in right now. Who do we got live on the air with us? What up, BK? I see you. Hey, what's up, Brady? What's going on, baby? USA, what's going on, Joey? Yeah, Sean Pond holding it down the one and only in Stanford. I see you. What's good, baby? Santa Barbara, Canada, Tampa, Belgium, Germany is big in the building. Bosnia, I ain't seen y'all before. Babylon, I haven't seen that either. You know what I'm saying? We got some newcomers in the building. That's beautiful. Big ups to Canada. Austria, Ottawa, LA, Germany, two times, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, South South, Worldwide, LA, uh, Sweden, Switzerland, Utah, Kazakhstan, USA, Austria, Australia, uh, USA, big ups, NYC, I see you, Australia again. What's up across the pond at the crypto? Wait, what's your name? What's your name? Crypto Bitman? Crypto Bitcoin King in London. I thought that said Crypto BK. I said, hold on, I got a twin out there. You know, we got London, Planet Earth, the outlaws in Planet Earth. I see you. Brazil, Australia, Texas. So this is how we do it, guys. We, you, I tell you, we are global. We are the fastest growing crypto community in the world. And don't let nobody tell you different. We will change lives. We will remain positive. We will be empowered. And we will, in turn, control our destiny. We will in turn control our future and we most certainly will control our finances and that's how you do it on these charts with that being said it's that time of the day this is your boy bk signing out so no matter where you stay from brazil to the bay in california IA, all the way out to germany good night good morning and good day thank you for listening guys i appreciate it if you appreciate it like subscribe and share that's all i ask until we meet again stay cryptic y'all Peace.